Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's topic, we are going to learn Hadoop. So what is this Hadoop? Hadoop is a tool which provides a huge storage for big data at reasonable cost. Okay. So generally storing the big data using traditional storage can be very, very expensive. Here comes the concept of Hadoop. Hadoop is built around commodity hardware. So it is, it can provide a fairly large storage within very, very less cost. Okay. So Hadoop has been used in the field at petabyte square. So according to the study, every year, the enterprises spends around $25,000 to $50,000 per terabyte every year. Okay. But while if at all we use an Hadoop, okay, the cost will be very much dropped into few thousands per terabyte per year. Okay. So as the storage gets very, very cheaper compared to the uh, normal uh, traditional method, the usage also will be increased with leads, which leads to the hardware gets cheaper and cheaper and the more applications can be implemented. Okay. So Hadoop also allows to capture new or more data. Sometimes organizations don't capture a type of data because due to the cost effective, due to the low more cost, every data cannot be stored, right? Only the important data will be fetched and that data will be stored. But since the Hadoop provides a storage at reasonable cost, each and every type of data can be captured as well as stored, okay? So the best example is like website click locks. So whoever is click, uh, clicking on the websites and all those locks can also be stored within less cost. With Hadoop, you can also store data for longer period. To manage the volume of data stored, company periodically purge the older data. But if we are using Hadoop, okay, so the logs of almost last three months are more older, okay, can also be uh, fetched whenever required, okay. There is no need of uh, deleting and all those things, okay. So this allows new analytics to be done or older history data can also be uh, fetched, okay, uh, like uh, uh, click logs or the data which related to the websites. Hadoop provides scalable analytics, okay? So there is no point in storing all the data if we can't analyze them, right? So not only storing the data, Hadoop also provide distributed processing, okay? And also large volumes of data can be parallelly processed. So this computation framework where the storing of data will be done as well as processing of data will be done, so this particular compute framework of an Hadoop is called as MapReduce, okay? We have already seen in the previous concept set, MapReduce, and the MapReduce has an advanced version, MapReduce 2.0, right? So this particular MapReduce tool will be helping uh, helping uh, larger scales of data, like petabytes of data, okay, to get processed. So let's take an example of big data, okay? and see how the Adobe will be uh, used for that. Let's take a copy, uh, let's take a coffee company name like uh, Starbucks. Uh, let us assume this Starbucks has been introduced a new co coffee with new taste. Okay, let us assume. Okay, so, uh, and we also assume the coffee has been released, new coffee has been released this morning. Once the public has uh, tasted that particular coffee, okay, most of the public will be uh, giving reviews or the feedback, okay, or to the Starbucks or the uh, in the blogs, okay, or in the Twitters or some sort of different types of forums, okay. So as soon as that particular uh, feedback is given, the company Starbucks need to know how the people are responding with respect to the new coffee launch, okay. So all that particular data will be with the help of the Hadoop, all that particular data can be stored and processed and it, that data will be 
uh, shown to that particular Starbucks company in an analytical form. Okay, such that they can see uh, what all the positive comments are there, what all the negative comments are there, what are the measures to be taken in order to avoid those negative comments, whether the price of the coffee should be less or more. Okay, so after a few days, okay, the war was there, there was uh, so much of chaos and everything was happening. How that particular coffee gets affected due to all these things, okay, also can be analyzed using this particular uh, big data analytics as well as the Hadoop, okay. Now, let us take a truck. So, this is another example. Let us take a truck. So, this particular truck driver who is dr driving a truck, if at all he is low on fuel, uh, the sensor, IoT sensor shows that there is a low on fuel. So, the driver need to get the data okay, uh, of his nearby surroundings, where the fuel, where he can get fuel that to an affordable price compared to the another uh, petrol bunks or uh, diesel bunks, okay. Not only that, if at all he's, he want to stay for some sort of motels or uh, some sort of uh, lodgings and if at all he want to have some sort of food kind of thing, all the routes, destinations, okay how the de uh, delivery will be in on time or not. Every data, each and every log or the data should be recorded at the back and also should be stored in a big data way, okay? So Hadoop helps in all these kind of applications, which is very much helpful to for each and every one in nowadays technology.